So we have a brand new patch for Cyberpunk, the 1.31 1 patch, and today we get into all the details of what this does, changes, and adds into the game. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ, and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out, and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so getting straight into their post, which they dropped literally 15 minutes ago. Patch 1.31 for Cyberpunk is now available on PC, consoles and Stadia. Here's the list of changes for this update. Please note that the issues listed below do not affect all players. Gameplay. Fixed an issue where after upgrading an item with a quest tag, the base version of said item wasn't removed from the inventory. Fixed an issue where weapon reload speed perks slowed down reload time. Corrected the height of the charged jump. Adjusted enemies' stealth detection speed dependent on game difficulty. V will no longer get stuck in falling animation when crashing a motorbike while also having the rock perk. Okay, so on to quest and open world. Disaster piece, fix an issue where Judy didn't spawn in her van on Jig Jig Street. The boots are made for walking. Fix an issue where the Fort Angelina Rattler didn't spawn in the quest area. Fort Angelina Rattler will no longer become invulnerable after the quest is completed. Beat on the Brat. Fix an issue where the quest could reactivate with the objective, go to the final fight, and saves made on game versions 1.22. With a little help from my friends, fix an issue where the objectives, wait for the nomads, could persist on the screen long after players' arrival at the junction. Fix an issue where it wasn't possible to interact with the nomads to discuss the plan. The Nomad, fix an issue where player's cars, fix an issue where the player's car could get stuck between a blockade and a guardrail, preventing them from returning to the car and blocking progress. Okay, so onto visuals, fix an issue where roads after rain did not look wet, which was the result of ongoing work on the wet surfaces system. In 1.31, wet surfaces should look more detailed than they did even before the issue occurred. Removed hair and slash or eyebrows in cases where they were set to off in earlier game versions. Fixed an issue where shooting with a tech weapon caused a momentary blinding light. With a little help from my friends, fixed an issue where Carol was missing her tablet or sitting in the air during the scene. UI, return missing descriptions in overheat and short circuit quick hat tooltips. Returned missing descriptions for backpacker, resist, osmosis and footloose clothing mods. Miscellaneous, fix an issue where players couldn't claim in-game registration rewards due to an error, a network error has occurred, please try again. And console specific, PlayStation, GPU memory optimization. But yeah guys, that is what we have for patch 1.31. Now we'll jump on in a quick second and check uh, a few of the remaining glitches and bring you a video later to see if they still work. But we will see guys, we will see. But guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. The end of the video has arrived and I will catch you on that next one.